Hi Treats, it's Toffee. Welcome back to, or of course, welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I have an update inspired build in real time and I asked you guys to ask me questions that I could answer for you in this video. So of course, the Halloween update came out on the 30th of September and of course, that means that today's build had to be a pumpkin patch because they introduced pumpkins and lots of pumpkin themed items that I am super excited about. So this is the area that I'm going to be building in. Um, I've just done an outline of a cliff that I'm going to be building onto later because this is the shape of the area I kind of wanted to work with. And of course I'm starting by planting my trees <laughs> um, and while I'm building I'm going to be answering your questions. So my first question is from one of my favourite animal crosses, Felina Fields. Everything they make is just beautiful and they have asked what was your first animal crossing game? My first Animal Crossing game was Wild World, which was all the way back when I was just a small sprout. I think it came out in 2006, so I was quite young when I played my first Animal Crossing game. <laughs> my next question is, what is your favourite part of Animal Crossing? And my favourite part, I think, is the ability to build and shape your own island. I find that amazing and fun and as a creative person, it really makes my heart happy. <laughs> so now I'm just opening the Island Designer app to start placing the dirt for my pumpkin patch. Okay, my next question has asked what are the cutest villagers? And oh my goodness, there are so many. So I'll just list a few of my favorites. Um, Marshall has to be number one. Raymond, he's super cute. Stitches, because he is adorable and lazy villagers, pretty much all adorable. Domi, because he's just the sweetest old man. Maple and Bow. So I'm not being overly symmetrical with where I'm placing my dirt. I want it to kind of be a little bit mismatched, a little bit uneven. I just thought it would look a little bit more quirky that way. I didn't really want it to be completely symmetrical, so. Moving on to the next question is, what is your favorite Animal Crossing fruit tree? Um, if you've visited my island via dream address, you'll know that there's that there's no fruit trees on my island. I don't display fruit trees on my island, um, personally. But my favorite of them are either peaches or cherries because they're super cute. <laughs> So now I'm just placing down the path through the middle. I did think about using wooden planks, but um, I didn't think that it'd really look good and I'm really glad that I did go with the dirt path instead. So moving on to the next lot of questions. I think this is how long do your builds take? Sorry if that's not the right if that's not right, um, feel free to correct me and I can answer in the comments. But if it is, my builds can take me anywhere from an hour to three or four hours. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and depending on what I'm doing and how much terraforming I have to do and how many materials I have to source and go back and forth while I'm building, it can take ages. Not to mention if I decide I don't like certain parts of what I'm building, I have to go back and redo them. <laughs> And for the second question, do you have a favourite villager? Yes, my favourite villager is Marshall. He is a sweet little angel. So the next question is, 
Do you think you will restart your island in Animal Crossing when you are done with your current island? If so, will you choose a different aesthetic? Yes, I will most likely restart my island when this one is finished and as much as I'd like to change aesthetic and say I will change aesthetic, I'll probably just end up reverting back to cottagecore as default. <laughs> it's just my favourite and it's kind of just what I find easier. My next question is, what's your favourite TV show? Also, do you like anime? Weeb intensifies. <laughs> um, I actually don't watch TV, so I don't even have satellite, but um, if Netflix counts, then I'd probably have to go with The Witcher. Um, I struggle to get into series or shows, and I don't really watch them. And if I start them, I don't finish them. <laughs> But The Witcher just kept me interested the whole time and I was probably already biased because I loved the video game. And then the second part, do you like anime? Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy to see a fellow weeb here. <laughs> um, yes, I love anime a lot. Um, one of my favourites being Violet Evergarden, so if there are any other fellow anime lovers here, I highly recommend it. The art is... Um, chef's kiss it's it's beautiful <laughs> so now i'm just planting my pumpkins and i didn't really want them to be again symmetrical so i sort of placed the colors kind of sporadically i felt that that would maybe look a bit more natural maybe not i don't really know how pumpkins grow in a pumpkin patch in real life on to the next question, and it is, where do you get the ideas for your island? I love your style and your island, it's awesome. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Um, I get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest or mostly other animal crosses on Twitter and Instagram. I don't know, seeing others' amazing, beautiful islands kind of just fills my head with my own ideas. So yeah. Um, My next question is, do you have any pets? P.S. I love your videos. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like them. And yes, I do have pets. I have this little baby. His name is Harvey and he's been in the family for 17 years now. So not really a baby. <laughs> I think it's 17 years, 17 or 18. Um, I would have only have been six or seven at the time my mum brought him home. Um, so yeah, he's been with me for a lot of my life and he actually lives with me in my own home now, so yes. And the newest family addition is this beautiful little boy. Um, his name is Shiro and he's only 12 weeks old. I've had him for a month now and he's just the cutest ball of floof ever and also the reason for my uploads being delayed or missed because uh, he's quite the handful and he's... Um, as a baby, he's very time consuming. <laughs> um, yes, a beautiful nightmarish angel, but I still love them to the moon and back. <laughs> so the next set of questions are, how old are you? I'm 23, I feel old, but at the same time, I still feel like I'm 19, 20 in my head. <laughs> Do you have any pets, which I already answered? How old were you when you played your first Animal Crossing game? And what was it? Um, as I answered in a previous question, my first Animal Crossing game was Wild World, and I think it came out in the UK in 2006, so I would have been about 10 when I played my first Animal Crossing game, so yes. Who is your favourite villager? I have answered that in a previous question, I think, but just in case I didn't, it's Marshall. Um, how do you get all your DIYs? I get a lot of my DIYs from spares from friends, or if I really want something 
I will trade for it on Lookazon if I must have it. <laughs> um, did you enjoy school? Yes, I did enjoy school. Um, at the time, probably not. Um, looking back, I did actually have a good time and I actually did enjoy classes as much as I pretended not to. <laughs> Um, I was probably a bit of a hideaway nerd. <laughs> what is your job? Job-wise, I'm a digital art worker. There's really not much to say about it and obviously my job goal is to be able to make content for my job. That would be nice. <laughs> Next question is, what is your favourite and least favourite personality in Animal Crossing? My favourite personality is Smug. I find them super cute and quite funny, actually. And my least favourite is Sisterly. I have none of those and no plans to have any of them. <laughs> um, have you stayed up to listen to the 3am music in Animal Crossing? Yes, I have played Animal Crossing till 3am, but I actually don't remember what the 3am music sounds like, and I don't think I've done it specifically to listen to the 3am music. <laughs> uh, what time does your island look best in? I like my island best at sunrise, at about 5am, and also at sunset when it's about 6pm. And are you enjoying the recent Halloween update? I love Halloween, it's in my birth month, and Yes, Halloween is just one of my favourite events, so yes, I'm really enjoying the update and I'm really happy that we did get a Halloween update. Next question is, do you think your island is more fairy core or cottage core? Oh, definitely more cottage core. I wouldn't even know where to begin with making fairy core builds. Um, I don't even think I'd be that good at it, so definitely more cottage core. Um, next is how many play hours do you have on Animal Crossing? I have over a thousand hours on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, some people might say that's too much, but I say it's not enough. Um, I literally played it day and night for months when it first came out, so um, yes, it's soon racked up. <laughs> what made you like Animal Crossing? Um, I don't really know what made me like Animal Crossing. It's kind of just nostalgic because it was my favourite game when I was a kid. Um, and I just thought it was a really sweet game. And I don't, looking back, I don't even know what drew me to it or why I enjoyed it so much back then when you didn't really have much to do. Um, <laughs> but I, yeah, I just, I just like it. I don't know why, I don't know what made me like it, but I do. <laughs> what was your first Animal Crossing game? I already answered that in a previous question and it is Wild World. What is your favourite villager? Again, that was answered in a couple of previous questions. Um, what is something you want in a new Animal Crossing update? Oh boy, um, a whole lot, <laughs> but I'll make it short. I would like an update for... I know there's been like some hint hint, whisper whisper that it might actually be a thing but I would like an update for like farming vegetables and cooking. Um, yeah, merging Animal Crossing with some kind of like farming simulation it would just be a dream game for me. Um, and I'd also like the ability to like be able to buy a separate island and you can go onto like a new island rather than having to buy a whole new switch just to have a separate island um, and then you can just like fly back and forth from whichever one you want to be at. I think that would be a cool idea because I feel like a lot of people do and will eventually get um, like Animal Crossing burnout and just having to like restart your island with absolutely nothing even though it's fun 
some people just, you know, they don't want to and they love their villages. So being able to like have a new separate island or buy a new separate island would just be, I don't know, I think it a really cool idea. <laughs> Um, how did you decide on the name Toffee? By the way, love your videos. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't really know. Uh, when I was trying to find a name for my Animal Crossing Instagram, literally, like, every name under the sun had already been taken. Um, I knew that I wanted it to be something cute and sweet. Um, I could have maybe had like something like Bunny Crosser because I love bunnies and obviously my little character has a little bunny plushie in her hands um, but it kind of ended up going for Toffee, I don't know, it just, when I thought about it, it just fit, it just sounded right for me. I love sweets and the colour Toffee is right within my favourite colour palette and the colour palette that is my island. So. Um, yeah, toffee. <laughs> what do you think of the new Halloween update? Um, I love the new Halloween update. I'm, I've been waiting for it for a long time. I'm so happy we have pumpkins and that you can actually like plant and harvest them. That's super cool. And all of the pumpkin themed items. I do wish that we had kind of more to do in between now and the 31st of October, but um, I guess the wait makes it even more exciting. <laughs> Will you ever do a stream where you visit Fans Islands? Maybe. Um, I would like to do streams, but I consider myself quite an awkward person. If I was to do a stream, I wouldn't even know like what to talk about. I'd probably stutter and mess my words up a whole lot because that's just how I am. Um, Maybe once I get a bit more confident making content on YouTube, I will start doing streams. Will you decorate your island for Halloween? Yes, there, there's no other part to the answer, just yes. <laughs> Would you ever design another's island? I think that would be really cool, but I, I don't even know how you'd go about that. So yeah, I'd like to, but I don't know if that would even work. <laughs> How old are you? Um, I answered that one in the previous question, I'm 23. How did you come up with your YouTube channel name? Um, kind of like how I answered in the previous question, that's where Toffee came from. Um, but my YouTube channel name is kind of just my um, Animal Crossing Instagram name, just without the crossing part, so I'm just Toffee. Name your top 10 villagers. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't even know how to do that just off the bat. Um, okay, Marshall is definitely a top 10. Raymond, I love Zell, he's really cute. Stitches, Diana, Maple, Molly. Um, oh goodness. Genji, I love Genji, he doesn't get enough love. Um, I can't even remember who I've already said. Chevry? Did I say Chevry? I like Chevry. One more, one more. I'm gonna say Judy because her sparkly eyes are super cute. Um, what kind of videos will you upload when you're done with your island? That's a good question. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to restart my island and kind of start a new series of island builds or whether I'm just going to um, like occasionally do Animal Crossing and maybe do some other um, gameplay from different games? I'm really not sure. But yeah, maybe, maybe sprinkles of Animal Crossing and sprinkles of other games. When you're done with your island, will you get bored of it and restart the whole game? I can, I can see myself doing that because my whole love for this game, like most of my love, is building and I've kind of been wanting to just restart the whole game for a while now rather than just demolish my island. I kind of just want to restart and have a clean slate and um, a different island layout and different villages and yes. So yes, probably. <laughs> Thank you.
So that was today's little pumpkin patch build and also q and I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit different for me to do so much talking. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Stay sweet treats!